If you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. All the links are down below in that description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 10% discount on all of your ores, guys. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins within 60 seconds. What's up, guys? G2 Messi here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we got something pretty huge in terms of FIFA Ultimate Team. That is going to be the EA and now price capping players uh, to kind of eliminate coin selling and everything like that, guys. But before we get into the video, if you know 1,000 fires likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, I want to know your opinions. Do you think this is a good move by EA? or do you think it's absolutely stupid of them but let me know in the comments below and if you're new to my channel click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content so this is actually going to be more of an informative video it might not be very long but I'm going to try and give you as much detail about this uh, whole new system that you have actually implemented and basically a uh, site called Footwords you probably know them I'll leave a link in the description below to them and uh, also in the background you'll be able to see uh, the, the player like, like the structure they've actually used I mean some players I mean if one one example for me that I'm actually going to start off with Roberto Carlos his set price minimum is 1.5 million up to 3 mil and Bearing in mind, I think apparently he was like 9 million the other day. So that's a ridiculous, ridiculous drop. Uh, but nevertheless, it means he's more affordable. I mean, there is pros and cons to every single one of these. But I've got a few things to talk about. And uh, these are like, it's kind of like, really, it's not really a surprise. I mean, this day was coming, I suppose. And uh, it's EA's first real step to uh, kind of normalizing the game again. Right, then, first up, I'm actually going to tell you a little bit of detail about the actual structure they've put in. So they've actually now introduced, like I said, a price cap of each individual player in the game. And there's a lot of surprise. I mean, Silvers, they haven't really thought of three silvers that well but I'll get into more detail about that in a second but every single player now has to have a buy it now and there are no more open bids I do believe so I mean if a player say got a price range from uh, say 6k uh, to 25k you could not sell a player cheap in 6k but you also can't sell them more than 25. They have also said though the new informs amount of matches team and seasons and everything like that all the special cards have already got a determined value when they are released so uh, tonight for example FA Cup amount of matches could be out and they could be in packs and you can only sell them for about say uh, uh, 500k or something like that whereas before you could have sold one for absolutely millions but again that's not really our problem so i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to actually read the article explaining absolutely everything and yeah let's get on to the player prices and starting off then being a player that actually uses silver cards a hell of a lot this is the thing that's pissed me off a little bit my club is currently full of informed silvers the normal like the best silvers in the game like muriel but they've actually limited most of them to uh, 150 coins up to around 10,000 coins and these examples i'm actually saying right now aren't actually the ones necessary in the background so i'm going to try and show you as many as possible but again footers have got them all i'll leave a link in the description below to them so uh, a few off the top of my head uh, that actually oh, not off the top of my head ones that i've written down uh, roberto cars 1.5 million to 3 million coins asaidi uh, 150 coins to 5k team the ronaldo 12 million to 15 mil so that's a big big pr uh, price range right there and a team the messi 11.7 to 15. it does also appear that foot have now got the price as well so harry kane's second in former this is a 74 rated card by the way 210k to 320k we've got emery chan's normal card he goes from 11k to 20 20k. Uh, we've got Rudiger. These are silvers, by the way. 200 coins to 9,000 coins. Andre Hans in form uh, hasn't actually got one at the moment. Uh, but I mean, they're slowly going through. And Balassi's uh, silver in form, 440k to 650. And now that we've got Team Lea Di Maria, 5.7 mil to 8.6. Then we've got Luis Suarez's man of the match card, 10 million to 15 mil. And the second in form Neymar, 3.2 to 4.9. So they're just some quick examples, guys. Like I said, if you want to check them out, Foothead, Footways will be in the description below. I keep mentioning that. But that's uh, pretty much where they have all the player prices right now. And yeah, I I mean, these prices are universal, Xbox, PC, PlayStation, every single console. These are the prices. So, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it or found this at all helpful, smash a like button. 1,000 fires likes would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, I want to know your opinions. Do you think it's a good move by EA or do you think it's a god-awful one? And uh, finally, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content, guys. So, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.